Rich Rising. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kelly and my content is wellness and lifestyle. So, um, I am up this morning before my, I have an eye doctor's appointment. So right now I um, just had some breakfast and I'm about to make some tea and I wanted to show you guys what teas I'll be using today. First and foremost, I've got the Divine Womb Tea from my herb shop. So if you go to Etsy, the link is in my bio on Instagram. I'll also put it below. You can order this Divine Womb Tea. It's an herbal tea blend um, and it's going to help with your reproductive health. Even if you're postmenopausal, it's still good to have these herbs for hormonal balance. Um, so if you're suffering from PCOS, infertility, um, any like reproductive health issue, hormone imbalance, this tea is going to help you out. Um, if you ha even have PMS, um, just general womb health, this tea is going to be what you need in your life. I'm about to start my cycle in a few days, so I'm just going ahead and taking some womb tea now. Um, it's got like red raspberry leaf, which is great for the uterus, strengthening the uterus. Um, you know, if you're post baby and you want to just get your womb health back in order, if you're coming off birth control, this tea is going to, again, help you a lot. So I suggest ordering it. Let me know if you guys have questions. I'm going to do a more in-depth video on teas, yoni steaming, my journey with PCOS, and how I'm healing through herbal medicine. So yeah, let me show y'all what I got. I got the Divine Womb Tea. This is a lymph tea blend. Um, so to support lymphatic draining, um, the lymphatic system basically is how toxins get out of your body. So it's important to keep that flowing and moving. And then this is just red, red clover leaf. Um, and it's good for um, like iron replenishing, um, red clover is just all around good to take, um, as well during your cycle. I want to say it's like a herb for your heart as well, but I could be wrong. I think cawthorn is like a heart herb. Um, but yeah, so taking some herbal medicine, um, just to be proactive with my cycle. And then I'm also going to Yoni Steam later, um, so this evening, I basically wanted to do a little day in the life today. Um, I have a few, few things to do. This is my last Monday off before my schedule changes at work and I'll be working Monday through Friday again. Let me pause the TV. Oh, it's over, okay. So I'm watching some YouTube, you know, just got up eight, um, saw my wife off to work. And yeah, I've got on my <laughs> Halloween pajamas. On my Halloween pajamas that we wore for my birthday. Um, and I am about to probably get go ahead and start getting ready for my appointment. It's at 11 right now. It's like 930. And then, um, excuse the concealer on my mirror. But yeah, so I'm going to get ready. And then I'm going to run errands. So I'll be going to my aunt's house for a sec um just to pick something up and then going to trader joe's i need to get some coffee creamer and yogurt and maybe some other things and then um i'm gonna stop at the liquor store on the way home because i need to find the jack daniels holiday whatever drink it's like cider it's really good we had it last year and the liquor store near us has not had it um so i they said they told me one to go to when i went on saturday and i didn't get to go saturday so i'm gonna try to find it today before we go out of town this weekend um so yeah then i'm gonna come home chill for a minute and then i'll be going back out um to pilates this evening at seven i'm doing my first Pilates class, so it's gonna be like an intro class. It's only like 30 minutes, um, but I'm excited because I have never done reformer Pilates. I've taken Pilates classes, but never reformer Pilates. So 
I'm excited. I ordered socks, the grip socks you need from Amazon and they won't be here until tomorrow. So that's great. Um, so I'm gonna have to buy some, but it's all good. Just wanted to see if it's something that I'm gonna like, um, if it's worth like getting a membership and then also keeping in mind that I want a cycle sink. So it's not something that I'm gonna do at all, th all throughout the month, but it could be something that I do maybe weekly or bi-weekly. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, just giving y'all a breakdown of the day. So that's what's on the list for today. And I'm just going to bring y'all with me. I hope y'all are well and happy and having a great day while you're watching this. Um, and thanks for tuning in. So go ahead and like, comment, um, subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Share this video with a friend, a family member who is on a wellness journey or just likes wellness tips or lifestyle content. Um, I appreciate the support so far. And I'm going to be having some more good stuff coming for you guys as the new year starts and just trying to get myself organized and everything. But yeah, so thank you for tuning in and I will check in later. Peace. Okay, so I just finished my little 10 minute makeup routine. Some brows, lashes, concealer, and that's it. Okay guys, we just finished our Trader Joe's trip. Ooh, my hair. Um, and thankfully it was not as crowded as it was the last time I was here, the week of Thanksgiving. So, got a few things. I'll do a little haul for you guys when I get home. Got a wreath, how cute. To go on front door is only $11.99. I've been looking for a wreath that's under like $50, so this was perfect. Um, but yeah, now it's time to head to my last stop i think it was my last stop the liquor store to see if i can find that good old jack daniels and then i will check back in with you guys later peace so y'all i feel like i've been all around the city today which i have i've been from rock hill to charlotte back to rock hill um and y'all will not believe they did not have the shit that i needed they did not have it um at the liquor store i went to the liquor store that they said they would have it at i could have reserved or held a bottle on saturday but i think i told y'all that i didn't so i drove all the way over here like 10 minutes from home out of my way um shit which way i need to go i you know what i think i can just stay straight and i'll still end up where i need to be okay yeah this main street okay so yeah, I ended up coming all the way out here and I was like, okay, if they don't have it, I'll just get wine and they didn't have the wine that I want either. The crazy thing is, we got this wine, we got this winter jack around Christmas time last year. And then when I went to the liquor store now, they just said basically they're not gonna get it back for the holiday or they're not gonna get any more basically. So this'll be it. Like no more winter jack is gonna be sold at all this season. I'm like, what the fuck? It's barely the first week of December so that's the update on that um I'm ready to go home though I feel like like I said I've been out all day I've been fucking everywhere um I have some leftover food from dinner last night and so I'm gonna have that but I'm about to stop and give me some fries that's what I am gonna do y'all saw I had Starbucks earlier it's like three o'clock I haven't had anything except breakfast um and then i had the ham and cheese croissant from starbucks as a little snack i don't need fries don't definitely don't need fries but um i'm about to give me some though but yeah so been everywhere it's definitely giving nap when i get home <laughs> um i need to take out something for dinner um but yeah i just wanted to check back in i'm still not home yet it's three what is it 301 so it's three o'clock 
um but yeah you guys i just wanted to do a day in the life and hold on okay yeah y'all as i was saying it's giving that when i get home it looks like it's about to rain like it's just a gloomy day this is my last monday off um, and I just want to relax. Normally, when I'm off, I make this my day of, like, appointments. Um, so, this morning, I really did not even want to get up and go and do all the stuff that I knew I needed to do. But now that it's over, I'm glad I did it. But I want to relax a little bit. I have Pilates at 7, so I have a little while. And I told you guys I would do a haul for you. Um, so, I'll probably do that when I get home and finish eating and put up this... Um, wreath but let me know in the comments if y'all want um a like november recap vlog um so what i'm doing i think i told you guys last week is that i am working on basically um challenging myself not to do as much vlogging and to do more like sit down or educational videos because that's what i uh want to start sharing as far as like you know um, you guys know I've been on my wellness journey and I feel like that is what I'm passionate about. So I want to provide tips, wellness tips and things, um, for you guys. And so I want to be able to, you know, do my research and then film those videos, which is different than I've been doing, you know, um, in the past year or so I've been doing more so vlogging and some like guided meditations here and there, but not a lot of like sit down videos, maybe a few here and there. But I don't want to be doing, um, you know, I want to challenge myself as far as the content that I'm creating. But I also decided that I want to keep, like, like um, the moments in my relationship more private. Um, as far as, like, not vlogging all of our vacations and stuff. And I was doing that more so for just, like, memory purposes. Um, but I like to also just keep those moments to us and, like, some have some sacred moments just between us but if you do follow me on instagram which you should at live well with kells um you probably will see still me posting some of our date nights and stuff just because i know some people like are looking for date night ideas and we do some pretty cool stuff if i may say so myself um so yeah i'll be sharing like you know highlights and stuff on my instagram but i really want my platform to be lifestyle but also more so wellness content so making that switch here in the next year or so um but i also want to say that i'm super proud of myself for how consistent i've been the last year i started vlogging in like september of 2021 here it is december i'm still active on my youtube channel and i'm just grateful because i have my own youtube channel like that's so cool i think my inner child would be so you know proud and like feel like that's a really cool thing because it's almost like having your own like show like almost like a podcast which I feel like I'll do that again as well because I did have one uh back in like college I started my own podcast but I only did like a couple episodes anyway um I'm proud of myself for staying consistent I was just talking to my wife last night about how we have been consistent this year we were looking at the number for our house and the numerology behind the number four and it really just means like um, grounding energy, um, you know, as far as being like consistent and um, organized and stuff like that. And I feel like that has been our main focus since we've been living here. There have been times that we've been more focused than others, um, but when we are focused, we thrive in the house and just staying organized because it, it's not a small house per se, because I know a lot of people live in apartments and there's a lot like space. We have three bedrooms, but we have a lot of stuff. Um, and it, with it being an older home, the way the rooms are organized, there's not a lot of closet space. So we have to be intentional about being organized. But I say all that to say, I'm just proud of me staying consistent with my YouTube channel this year, staying consistent with uh, working out this year, and being on the treadmill. Like I started working out last year and having gym days and stuff, but, um, you know just taking the initiative to get a treadmill and make sure that i am getting in some daily movement uh i've been really consistent with that this year so i'm proud of that and also with my wellness journey with taking my supplements losing some weight over the summer i am proud of myself for that as well and i want to thank you guys for being on the journey thank my wife for being so supportive all the time 
Uh, and yeah, so I'm excited for what's next. I feel like the summer uh, I was, you know, vlogging and stuff for fun, but just to get the hang of, hang of it more with being consistent, but also trying to discover what content I want to create. You know, I'm not like every other vlogger and I know you guys don't watch me because I'm like other vloggers. You watch me because I'm me. So I want to honor that and just start uh, producing more content that is unique to me and my life and you know my wellness journey as well as sharing some tips with you all if you're on a wellness journey or just in life in general uh, it's good to <laughs> take care of yourself and feel well and do all the things you need to feel well so um, I think that's it I did want to see oh. Popo honey don't want to be vlogging driving past the police but i did want to see if you guys would like for me to do a november like recap vlog uh i basically recorded like pre-birthday i was going to do two vlogs so like a birthday prep vlog and a birthday vlog y'all know my birthday is at the beginning of november so a month ago let me know in the comments if you guys are interested in seeing that content i had like about a month and a half's worth of content that i still uh have in my phone that i need to edit but with me trying to switch things up, I kind of just wanted to move on. <laughs> um, but if you guys want to see the prep and everything for my birthday, getting my nails done, getting my hair done, I mean, coloring my hair, getting it done, excuse me, my photo shoot. If you guys want to see that behind the scenes footage, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure, sure and happy to put together a vlog for y'all for that uh, time frame. So basically November recap. I might separate it into two vlogs, but I also might just combine it into one and then just be done with that. And then we're going to move on with the year, move forward into the new year with some new content. Last thing, um, I guess you guys probably have noticed by now that I'm not wearing my glasses and I'm driving and doing all the things and it's because I have contacts in. So that was the result of my appointment this morning. Um, they gave me these contacts that last a month so I can just kind of decide if I want to wear contacts. I had a hard time putting the left one in. Don't really like things in my eyes. I mean, who does? Um, but I, this summer, I actually want to be able to wear cute sunglasses for one. Um, and yeah, so we'll see. I think if I don't get a, some contacts now, I'll get them in the summer because it's not really like a big deal. He also said I don't need to be wearing like glasses or contacts while I'm working and, and that's what I do, I work. So what would be the point of wearing contacts if I have to take them in and out? Because I don't like that. Um, I don't like taking them in and out, it doesn't feel good. So adjusting to them being in my eyes, we'll see, but I'll probably be back to my glasses in no time, honey. Um, and then, okay, I said last thing, but one more thing. Um, what was it? Um, glasses, cont oh, okay, that is, that's it. Basically, um, next week, hopefully, I will have a video for you guys on feminine hygiene. So I'll give you guys the 411 on my non-toxic menstrual care, my routine, while I'm on my cycle, um, all the things. And I want to drop the ebook that I have for you guys. It'll be a freebie, but uh, an ebook on feminine hygiene as well. So my hope is to have that up for you guys next week. We'll see, because I've been trying to get my website together and I tried to edit Squarespace this weekend and for some reason it was giving me a hard time. So we'll see um, if I can get it done and post it for you guys next week if not it'll be closer to the top of the year but yeah that's coming and lots of other things so let me stop rambling i just made it home i'm gonna take all the stuff inside eat and then i'll do a trader joe's haul for y'all peace another day another trader joe's haul so gonna keep this short and sweet because i'm ready to sit down <laughs> just eight but yeah start off with some sourdough um i've heard good things about how sourdough is good for like your gut or something so yeah we're gonna do a little bit of that maybe some toast and probably find some type of recipe on 
uh, TikTok because I want to do my own sourdough one day. But yeah, um, I said I wasn't going to get long-winded. Sourdough. Blueberries. Got some more of this lentil soup. Um, I love it. I haven't eaten the other one, but I'm waiting until my cycle comes on because when I'm on my cycle, when anyone's on their cycle, it's good to eat warming food. So I'll be having soup a lot. My wife requested celery uh, to take for a snack for work. Oh, I was also going to say the sourdough sometimes goes bad really quick. So I have to make sure that it doesn't go bad or I eat it before it goes bad because it like molds within like days. Maybe I should freeze it or something. I don't know. Okay. Then we got our frozen food. Cauliflower gnocchi. Gnocchi, whatever you say it. Some turkey meatballs. This is my absolute favorite. I used to kill this when I lived by myself. Um, Mar excuse me. Mandarin orange chicken. So I used to live in Charlotte and I lived down the street from a Trader Joe's then. Now we live like... 30 minutes away from Paradox, but I used to kill this. This chicken is good. Uh, and then I got some more gnocchi. I got this cacao de pepe, cocoa, whatever, that. I had it before, it's good. I also had the cauliflower gnocchi. So just some good staples. If you are, if you don't have anything meal prepped or if you just need a quick meal for um, one night for dinner, Frozen food is always good for that. So I wanted to make sure I got some. Um, Greek yogurt. It's made with whole milk. So it's got a lot of good healthy fat in there probably. Six grams of protein. Because I'm trying to do like more protein heavy breakfast. So this I almost got. They had cashew yogurt that I almost got. But um, I'm testing some things. Because I did an elimination diet earlier this summer when I first started. And I want to start integrating some things back in. Um, but I also just purchase a meal plan for PCOS that does not require you to do the elimination diet. Uh, so we're going to try some things. Got a Caesar salad mix, organic. This is just some snacks because I know I'm going to be on my period soon. Dark chocolate peanut butter cups. Yum. Um, this is protein oatmeal. Again, trying to have more protein heavy breakfast because protein helps to balance your blood sugar. If you can have protein in every meal, 25 to 30 grams and 10 to 15 grams in your snacks. Um, this is 10 grams. So probably have that with some other stuff in it. I saw this, so excited for these. These are ginger, um, crushed ginger, like little pods or cubes. So you can put this like in tea. Um, you can put it in a smoothie. So I'm really excited about that. Wish that they would have had turmeric, but just ginger. This creamer is amazing. Um, I got it the last time I went to Trader Joe's. So I just got two this time because both me and my wife drink coffee in the morning. So there's that. Um, I got a pomegranate just because I want to also start doing like treats with melted chocolate over like fruit. So like chocolate over chocolate covered blueberries, freeze it, chocolate covered pomegranate seeds. I also saw a recipe for that. So I want to try that. Got some apples. These are Gala apples, organic. Um, got another one of these, like root beer. It's mushroom drink. Super good. And then last but not least, I got some different type of protein bars. So I have a Thrive subscription and they had different protein bars on there where you could buy the whole pack. And I almost bought a whole pack at Trader Joe's because it's cheaper than what they have on Thrive. It's like $30 on Thrive versus like $18 for a box of these RX. Um, protein bars. This has 12 grams of protein, so a good snack. Um, I got the chocolate raspberry and the blueberry. I should have tried the vanilla almond, but I also got this one, Barbell's protein bar. Um, so these are vegan. This is no added sugar, and it says 20 grams of protein, so that's really good. And this is a hazelnut and nougat um yeah so plant this one is plant-based so that is plant-based I don't think this one is um and this one is 15 grams of protein and no added sugar 
So that's great for hormone balancing because it's got protein without the added sugar. It only has one gram of sugar, but we'll see how it tastes. That's gonna be the deciding factor of which one of these I purchase more of. So that's my Trader Joe's haul. Pretty quick, um, just in between, like we go to the grocery store like once a month, but we also go like maybe every other week in between that, um, just to pick up like breakfast stuff. Cause that's the thing we, breakfast and sides are the thing we eat most. We always keep like a good stock of protein and meat, but we always have to go in between our big grocery hauls to get sides and breakfast stuff and snacks. So yeah, I'm probably gonna do a Thrive haul today, a Thrive order today, um, just to replace some snacks in the house. Um, and yeah, thanks for tuning in. This is all for now. I might show you guys the wreath. I put it up. It looks so cute. It smells so good. It smells like a Christmas tree. So since we're not doing a Christmas tree this year, I did very minimal Christmas decorations. I'll show you guys what I did in the living room. And then, yeah, I'm going to chill out until um, my first Pilates class on our former at seven o'clock. So I have about two hours until I have to leave. I also need to cook dinner, but I just took out the fish. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I'll check back in. I'm starting to get in Christmas gifts, working on getting all that done for my wife. This is what I took off the front door um, for Thanksgiving. I also had a flag, yard flag that I had out there, but I got a black Santa one. This is my little Christmas <laughs> area. And then I lost my other um, stocking. I have mine from when I was a kid, but it just really is really dirty and I don't want to put it up. Christmas tree and these little, <laughs> little bitty lights. So, and then our niece made this for us last year. It's a little um, ornament. So one year we'll go out and we'll have a tree and everything, but this is just, you know, some basic stuff. And then this I also got last year. And I normally have this to lit these Michaels candles that I got last year. Um, yeah, and then this is always on the door, but look how cute. Oh my gosh, and it smells so good. And then I also have the black Santa sign out there, if you guys can see that. Super cute as well. Guys, my socks ended up coming. These are my socks that I need for Pilates. And Amazon said they weren't coming until tomorrow, but they came just in time. Super excited. I'll have to do a try on or <laughs> get ready with me. Um, because I also got a got a um set from Old Navy, like a long line tank, um, and some leggings, and then a little like pullover exercise jacket so excited for that i'll show you guys the fit before i leave for pilates gosh you guys just got a christmas gift in the mail from my aunt my wife's aunt my aunt janice i sent this to her she asked what i wanted for christmas on uh what you call it on thanksgiving and i opened amazon package today and it was here so i'm excited it's almost like one of those stanley cups but like way cheaper. And I love that it has this on the back cause it's like basically, you know how when you have straw stuff, it like, um, you know, it leaks and everything, but this is like the straw has to go through that little thingamajig if you know what I'm saying. So there we go. Isn't she cute? About to give it a try before Pilates. Protein snack. So, your girl might become a Pilates girly just for the aesthetic because, you know, this is just <clears throat> the power sport. Um, old navy athletic so these are the seven eight leggings or seven eighths whatever and then a long line tank so for good coverage and it feels great and then i got this um i got the jacket so let me put that on and show you guys how it looks okay also finishing up my rx bar um, my review of it is that it is an interesting texture. It's more like wet 
or not like a hard type of granola bar. So I'm not sure if that was what I should have expected, but it tastes similar to one that I got from um, Target. They have pretty much like a dupe for those and it tastes pretty much exactly the same. Um, am I a fan of the RX bar? I wouldn't eat it like every day, you know, like I'd eat it every once in a while, just if I need um, a protein snack in, in the middle of the day. So yeah, this is the set Old Navy. I love it. I probably should take off some of my jewelry for my class. Probably gonna put my hair up in a bun. So, and then I showed you guys the socks. Um, so glad that those came just in time for class. Hopefully I'll be warm enough. Gotta take the tag off. Um, Cause it's cold outside and kind of rainy. But yeah, I'm gonna take this necklace off my costume jewelry i'll leave on this cross um i'm not really sure if i'm supposed to wear actual shoes but i might just throw on some slides with these they're called they're the sport near brand from amazon um so they've got the little front area I guess to give your the front of your foot some movement but it's got the grip on the back so yeah I'm excited I'm not gonna put the socks on now um I will be letting you guys know okay you might as well do the full get ready with me since you're here um and I'll let you guys know what my review of Pilates is a little sideways all right it's kind of crazy being able to see without my glasses off so I'm still tripped up by that um probably put on a little hoop because I dislike not having on earrings there's just something about it a little chapstick and yeah, thank you guys for tuning into today's video. I may or may not get footage of the class because I'm not sure if the intro is like one-on-one. -on -one. I kind of have a feeling it is. But stay tuned to my Instagram story for the review. If I don't get any footage, this is going to be the last clip for this video. So again, thanks for tuning in. Comment below if you like the day in the life video and if you want me to again drop those November recap videos if you'd like a whole big vlog for November or break it down into two parts pre-birthday and birthday um yeah we are in our Pilates era so I'm excited and we'll see what's next peace